Are silicones really that bad for us and the environment? This is Professor Curious. Usually, he doesn't care much about his appearance, but tonight, he's having a date. Looking for the best hair care, he comes across discord about silicones and care products. As he doesn't want to risk anything tonight, he decides to take a closer look at silicones in his lab. Systematically, silicones are called polyorganosiloxanes. Siloxanes because they are made up of silicon oxygen units. Organo because organic residues are attached to these units. And poly because many units are linked together. Silicone production requires the second most abundant element on Earth, silicon, which is extracted from quartz sand and synthesized with chloromethane. The products of this synthesis are silanes, and again, silicon, which is, for example, required by the semiconductor industry. Silanes are ultimately the raw material for producing different silicones. By varying the siloxane units and organic residues, an impressive number of versatile silicones can be synthesized. Professor Curious knows that due to their diversity, silicones can be found in almost all areas of life. In the automotive, textile, and food industries, as well as construction and consumer care. They ensure that our skin and hair are supple, but where does the reputation of silicones come from? Part of the answer lies in their chemical structure. The siloxane units are extremely stable compounds, which make silicones highly resistant to external influences, perfect for many applications. However, it also means that silicones are hardly biodegradable. But Professor Curious knows that after decomposing silicones into smaller particles, they can be degraded by microorganisms into their original material, quartz, as well as CO2 and water, completely harmless substances. So far, no negative effect on humans has been proven. After all, silicones are also used in many medical applications, such as implants. Moreover, silicone production is water-saving and comes without clearing of forests. The raw material, sand, is natural and available in large quantities. In addition, silicones are highly efficient because they enhance the effect of natural substances. Professor Curious can think of no other substance with such properties. He resumes, technically and ecologically, silicones are state-of-the-art in many areas of our lives. Today, he decides to use the versatile properties of polyorganosiloxanes to leave a brilliant impression on his date.